So now we're going to shift our view a little bit on centers of mass. And instead of looking at it as having all these weights all over the place, we're going to make, take this more as that we have a thin plate that's kind of a funny shape, but we still want to balance it. So we're going to look at this with regions that we can create with functions. So for example, here's a picture that I stole from OpenStax that we've got this region here and we want to figure out how we balance it. So the, the idea is, this is a picture I stole from a different book, is that we've got this region and we've got this plate that it's, it's basically very thin. So it's almost that it's two dimensional. So it's nice and thin, but we want to figure out where's that balance point that if we wanted to, you know, put a pole underneath it or kind of balance it on the, the tip of our finger, where would that point need to be for this region that we have? So how are we going to do this? So I'm going back to my picture here is it's going to be how we do everything in 252 is that we take our region and we're going to cut it into slices and we're going to figure out what is happening in each of the slices and how we balance those slices. So what we want to do is figure out our mass because we want to find the center of mass. That's what we're trying to do. So the mass of one rectangle is going to be the density of that rectangle. So remember rho is density. We had that a little while ago. And then times the area of that rectangle. And that's gonna give us our mass. So of course, if we want the total mass, what we're gonna do is make those rectangles smaller and smaller. And M doesn't have that many <laughs> little bits to it. There we go. Equals one to N. We're going to do the mass or the density times each of these, the area of each of our slices. And we're going to take the limit as N goes to infinity because we're going to make more and more slices. And this is going to end up being the integral from A to B of our density function times F of X. And then our delta x is going to turn into dx. So this is how we're going to figure out the total mass. We do need that because we divide by the total mass when we're figuring out where our center of mass is. So I'm going to go straight here to our formula. If you want to see how the rest of these integrals are created, you can take a look in OpenStax. Um, there's a similar process. It's all about slicing things up and thinking about distance also, um, because remember that m sub x and m sub y, that's how far we are from the x-axis and how far we are from the y-axis respectively. And so those are figured out using the distance formula. And so we've got the mass of our lamina. So that's what these regions are called. We call them a lamina. Um, so we've got our mass, and then we've got that density function for our lamina, and then we've got our two moments. So again, how far kind of these things are from the x and the y axis, and then our center of mass is just like we had when we were in two dimensions with the weights. So it's that those moments divided by our total mass. So let's take a look at a region here. And it's going to be bounded by the graph of 1 over x, the line y equals 0, the line x equals 1, and the line x equals 2. So let's see here. Maybe let's make that 1, let's make that 2, let's make our scale over here a little bit smaller than normal. Let's have that be a half and have that be 1. So that way the graph's going to look a little something like this. So our region or a shape, I guess, our lamina that, we're, that we've made, it's going to be this region right here. So my guess of where our center of mass is going to be, so it's going to be somewhere kind of over here. It's going to be a little more towards one. It's going to be a little bit higher there. Um, and that's mostly because this side here is a little bit taller than the other side. So it's got to be a little more towards that heavier side where we've got more mass. So that's my thought of just kind of my, my guess of where it is. Let's, let's actually find out where it actually is. So we need to find three different things. We've got to find the mass, the total mass of this lamina. Then we've got to find our two moments. And then we can finally find that point for that center of mass. So let's go ahead and find those things. So our total mass is the integral from 1 to 2. So that's on the x-axis. And 
So, ooh, then I start to go, wait, they didn't give me density here. That's actually okay. If you kind of look at each of these integrals, density sitting out there in front. And here, when we find our coordinates for our center of mass, we've got that density times our integral, blah, 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 on the top, density times that other integral, da, 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 on the bottom. And those densities actually cancel. So usually what we do when they don't give us a density is we say for convenience, density is equal to one because it doesn't really matter because it's gonna cancel out. So it's one of those things that's like, yeah, we need to have it in there, but then it cancels out in the end, so it didn't really matter in the first place. Oh, annoying things about math and, and physical applications. So anyway, our impact or integral, we've got the integral from one to two of our function. So we can do this. We've taken integrals like this before. This one is natural log from one to two. So we get natural log of two minus natural log of one, natural log of one is zero. So we get natural log of two. So that's our total mass of our lamina. And now we need to find our two moments. So this first moment here, the n sub x. So again, our density is one. So we'll, we don't even need to write it there if you wanted to, just to remember, you know, we said that density was one. And then we're going to have one half times our function squared. So again, that's just coming from this formula. If you want to see where those come from, you can check that out in OpenStax. And so let's see, our integral is going to be from one to two, one half times x to the negative two, because right? we're going to have one over x times one over x. Again, things that we can take the integral of. So we have one half times negative one x to the negative one from one to two. So negative one half times one over x from one to two. So let's see, what do we get here? Is it negative one half times one half minus one half times one? So we end up with, oops, getting ahead of myself or forgetting to multiply by a half there. So we get negative one fourth plus a half. So we get positive one fourth. Okay, excellent. So that's our first moment. And then we need to find our second moment, our moment with respect to the y-axis. So that's going to be the integral from a to b of x times our function. So let's find that. I see we haven't used green. So n sub y. It's integral from 1 to 2 of x times our function. I'm sure you're starting to see now why I picked 1 over x for a function, because it's nice and simple for us. So we can see how kind of each of these work. So we get x from one to two, so two minus one. So we get our moment there with respect to the y-axis is one. So now finally we can find our center of mass and the center for x, again remember that is n sub y over our mass, so one over natural log of two. And then for y, m sub x over m, so 1 fourth divided by natural log of 2. So we could write that as 1 over 4 times the natural log of 2. So that's our point. Again, it's not in the most helpful format. I don't know exactly where this point is in the coordinate plane. That's why we probably want to go ahead and get decimal approximations for this so we can see what this is. So this is about the point 1.44 and 0 0.360. So let's see how this compared to my guess. Let's see how good I was. So the actual, let's grab a different point here, maybe dark blue, is 1.4, which would be, you know, probably about right there, a little bit. Oops, wait, 1.4. This is 1.5 right there. So it would be kind of about right there. And then 3.6. Let's see, that's 0.25, so it's going to be, oh my gosh, my guess was pretty good, about right there. That was, that was a pretty good guess I did there. All right, and that's really all there is to it.